Hello, this is KK6 Foxtrot Unit from Tango with another fun Arduino project. What I've built here is an Arduino Terminal Node Controller, or TNC, uh, using a design called the, the KISS uh, TNC, which was, I believe, designed by KI4MCW um, several years ago. And essentially what it does is it's turned your Arduino into a processor to detect frequency shift keying, which is how the radio's uh, packet radio works. It sends out ones and zeros and it turns them into a, into a uh, audio on your radio. And uh, this is uh, the TNC that I've built and it's connected to a Baofeng UV5R over here. And uh, Essentially, uh, you, what you used to do is spend a uh, hundred dollars or several hundred dollars on a TNC, a commercial TNC. I think the Cantronics are, p are pretty popular, uh, which you'd need to connect to your favorite transceiver, and you'd have all your appropriate cables. And uh, in this turn, uh, in this case, we turned a Arduino Nano, which I think you can get for less than four dollars on eBay, uh, with some miscellaneous parts, and uh, turn that into a uh, TNC. Now uh, you'll see here um, uh, the parts of this are an Arduino Nano. Uh, this cable is connected to my computer. Uh, this is a USB uh, serial port uh, connector. Um, this connector actually goes just to a speaker, which you're here, uh, just so you can hear what's going on. It's sometimes useful to have a little bit of feedback. Uh, this connector goes to the radio. This is actually um, the RX and ground and some other stuff and this one over here because I ran out of connectors and didn't have a right uh, uh, another connector with another uh, with another another uh, conductor this is actually uh, to the same radio and this is just the PTT line um, there's a couple adjustments on here for for the volume um, this is actually a uh, I have this currently comp uh, powered off the computer but the intent was to run this off of a battery um, with another Arduino and maybe a GPS uh, receiver. So this is uh, probably more problems than it's worth. It's probably an antenna right now rather than a power adapter, but that's uh, there meant for uh, powering up the Arduino off of a 12 volt ba battery or something else. Um, these LEDs are not working. I gotta go debug that. This uh, transistor is used for the switching for, uh, for the uh, uh, transmit. So uh, now I'm gonna turn up the volume on the radio so you can hear the uh, what we're hearing here, and we'll go look at the computer and listen to some packets. Okay, this is going to be hard to see, but uh, on the screen is the output of log of uh, APRS IS32, which is a Windows software to uh, decode and send out APRS signals. So um, you'll see there the log, and that's an APRS uh, signal. You'll see something bopped, bopped up there. That's actually that was AI6AP and this is KA6TAY. So that's all received off the Arduino, um, off of the COM port, COM11 on that point. Uh, you can actually see this is being shown on the screen. Um, and this is probably not gonna look the best, but as signals are received, uh, they're popping up here on the left. That's off of the Arduino and it shows up on the screen. We can actually also transmit our signal, which you won't hear because the uh, the uh, radio, of course, will not hear itself. So, and that's transmitting right now. And so my my uh, position here and my uh, QTH just went out on uh, on two meters. Um, when you're listening to APRS, the traditional frequency in the U.S. is one four four three nine zero, and uh, Currently, most of my signals, if you look at the uh, the, the trace values and all that, um, are only being digipeded to me. So they actually resend packets from other pa um, other stations. And uh, I have one repeater, WA6ZSN, that gets a real good signal in here. I can't hear anybody else. And uh, fortunately, the packet packet uh, protocols. Uh, make it so they repeat the signal a uh, certain distance so I can hear anything that can see uh, WA6ZSN, which is not too far from me on top of a hill. So, um, so there you have it. There's a, a terminal node controller built out of a $4 ish uh, Arduino Nano and uh, a miscellaneous parts I had lying around. Um, it's interesting, the uh, 
the most of the work in this case is done by the processor and uh, uh, the uh, the guys who did it actually I guess they do a fast Fourier transfer uh, transform and yeah, look that up um, which uh, takes uh, signals and turns them into frequencies or vice versa and uh, and uh, decodes the bits and bytes out there and uh, the only thing it does really is it takes the audio in and uh, runs it uh, runs it directly to a uh, A to D converter that's already on the Arduino's and the output is similar it's actually uh, sending out a, a D to A a signal using um, uh, using the Arduino as well so there's no outboard hardware aside from some resistors and capacitors and uh, really kind of remarkable you can do all that with uh, such a simple and, and cheap piece of equipment and so uh, there you have it that is a Arduino uh, KISS I think it's uh, probably stands for keep it simple stupid um, uh, terminal node controller and if you're willing to do a little bit of solder soldering it's uh, that'll, that'll get you on packet radio for around five dollars or so um, you know plus or minus little components so uh, this is KK6 Fox Shining from Tango